Every year, the population of the world increases by 200,000 people. 200,000 more people share the limited resources and space of the planet, including water, food, and property. This is an increasingly pertinent and troublesome issue and should limit the population growth rate. Unfortunately, many people are unaware of this issue and due to family ideals, want a larger family. In our urbanized society, the average number of children men and women want is two. This means that they understand the financial repercussions of having children. Having two children is called replacement level fertility, aka the parents die, and then the number of children equals the number of parents. However, in low developed countries, the parents have four to five children, which is approximately twice the replacement fertility rate. Now what if this population bomb were dropped over crossroads? The population of the middle school at Crossroads currently is 320 students grades 6 through 8. In upper school, there are 605. That means that in middle school, there are about 106 people per grade, whereas in upper school, there are 125 per grade. To provide food for these 925 students and 70 faculty members, Campus Food Kitchen must bring in an average of 2 pounds of food per person per week. Already, a staggering amount of food is required to feed our campus every day. Now what if the population growth at Crossroads doubled? As opposed to an addition of 16 people to the 9th grade class in the upper school per year, what if we doubled that? If 32 people join the upper school every year, food, water, seats, class space, all of these things would be in demand. Do you believe the world is overpopulated? Uh, parts of the world, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the world is overpopulated? Yes. I believe there are aspects, there are parts of the world that are overpopulated. Okay. Yeah, because we've been learning about it in class. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, what are some symptoms of overpopulation? Dead babies, ba um, infant mortality. Lack of resources in terms of how people live the housing that's available, the kind of food that's available, water. How many people do you think are on the planet? Well, you got my white ears. Mm, six billion. Just above seven billion. Five hundred million, that's half a billion. Are you ready? Well, let's think about the effects of this on population growth. What are you talking about? Um, over 40% of pregnancies are unplanned and most of them in low developed countries. Let's not. Uh, do you want to get a milkshake? I'm not hungry. Anymore. Two. If I don't adopt them. Okay, then. I think I'll have like four. Two boys. Three. Education levels and populations are a key determining factor in birth rates and unexpected pregnancy statistics. People with no schooling have an average of 4.5 children. Those that spend at least a year or more in primary school have three. Those that complete a year or two have 1.9 children. All are below replacement fertility rates. With one or two years in advanced education for women, rates can fall lower to 1.7 children. Can anyone see the board? There are too many people. Oh, alas, my story of woe. If only my education weren't the victim of the population bomb. Is this chemistry? <laughs> I was supposed to graduate four years ago! Okay, everyone, welcome to Spanish. What did she say? This classroom is so overpopulated, I can't hear anything. Ay, caramba. Sex education and prenatal care. These are two very important educational elements that help to prevent unwanted pregnancies and especially overpopulation. Why? Well, with sex education, 
young people are more aware of their physical selves and what sexual activity means and so they make more responsible decisions. While prenatal care helps women in particular prepare themselves for motherhood in the general social fabric. So, sex education, prenatal care. If we expand these two elements in our education system, people will be more prepared when they go out into the world and overpopulation can be controlled.